Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to download only current day files from FTP server by using FTP task in SSIS package. We will learn how to create a SSIS package from scratch and then we are going to create a variable in SSIS package and write expressions and we will use that variable in the FTP task. We will be writing expressions and we will provide some wildcard on that expressions uh, and the variable is going to evaluate uh, those uh, values uh, that will help us uh, to extract uh, the current day files uh, from FTP and we will be using that variable in the FTP task finally to download those uh, current day files so here on the FTP let me show you first uh, I have this uh, FTP server at IP address uh, and you can use the server name if you have it you it will be ftp dot uh, your company name here I'm giving you example ftp dot microsoft dot com but uh, you will have ftp dot your company dot com and or you will have some IP address so open your explorer or uh, Mozilla or any Chrome whatever the explorer you like and just paste it there and uh, then it will ask you sorry and then it will ask you username and password and you provide that information and then you will be able to drill into the if uh, different folders and subfolders i have sales folder here and inside the sales folder i have different files so i have customer file i have sale asia file and sale asia and uh, sale asia i have sale europe and north america files and if you see that uh, each one is uh, created with the data so 2015 so May 8 2015 and this is May 6 and each one has a different dates what I'm interested in today is May 8 and I'm only interested to download the sale files for today and I don't care about customer file I don't care about the other files which do not follow today's date I want to start with sale and then I want to have the current day that's what I want so I have to create an SSIS package that will help me to download the files only for current day and leave or it will not touch those old files now here is my local folder that's where I want to put those files so let's go and create an SSIS package now open the bids or SSDT whatever you have according to the version of SSIS you are using so I have SSDT SQL Server data tools because I'm using SSIS 2012 once you are in the project hit on the SSIS packages and you will see new SSIS package and then inside the package let's name this one so we'll call it pkg underscore get current day files from FTP here I'm gonna create a variable first of all I will, I will create a variable called local folder and this will be containing uh, the value will be equal to the local folder path copy here first of all I will show you without using the variables or anything uh, with just configuring our FTP task and then we will use a variable and build that now bring the FTP task here once you have the FTP task let me close this part the very first thing what we need we need the FTP connection so we will be creating FTP connection from here and here we have to provide server name when uh, we use the the path here if you remember we use this path if I will take this path copy and paste it here this is not gonna work this is going to throw us error because let me show you sorry uh, let's go back and hit it here and configure and here I'm gonna provide the password now if I will test it it's gonna throw us error can uh, connection cannot be established server name port name or credential may be invalid 
that's not correct information everything is correct we do not need to provide the this uh, information we don't need to provide backslashes and FTP and colons with it so if we provide IP address as it is or ftp.microsoft.com or ftp.yourcompany.com it will work just fine so hit ok test looks good now come back here we are not going to use the variables first we will use a as it is and then we will create the variables here in the file transfer we are receiving the files so we receive files and local path that's where we want to save the files and is local path variable is equal to false we don't want to use the variable as of now so I hit here and say connection and existing folder okay and I'm gonna go and select the local folder in this case so I have selected that one and I want to say okay overwrite the files if they exist fine and then I have to provide the path remote path from where I want to extract the files so in this case I want to extract the files from sales this is FTP site and it is asking me which file so I'm gonna give it one for now even I gave the customer and I'm not interested in customer at all so I have to change this one this is how I'm gonna change I'm gonna put sale asterisk and then I will put uh, today's date 2015 05 08 dot txt or dot asterisk if I'm interested to get everything that start with sales whatever it has I don't care between the date and then I want to have today's date and I want any type of file that can be Excel or CSV or text file so this is how I can receive those files hit ok now if I will run this one it is going to lo uh, download the only files for today so let's start it completed successfully and it downloaded the file for sale Asia sale Europe sale North America and sale Asia and these are the dates you can see dates are correct for all of those files and that's why it did download all these files now what we are interested in we want to create this package we, we will not be coming every day and changing the data or expressions here every day so that's not going to happen one thing we can do we can use a variable and we can build these expressions so that's what we are gonna do here now I know this is what I need this part I need for sure and then actually this part I need for sure and let me remove this part now hit ok here let's create a variable called remote path there are multiple ways you can do it I mean it's your choice so I would like to do expressions on remote path variable and then I will go ahead and do uh, I'm not gonna use the uh, let me see here I am on writing expression on remote path variable here I will this one I want hard code values and then uh, after this asterisk what I want I want uh, the date so let me put the date part here so how we can put the date part we have to add uh, and then uh, we can get the date by using get date function so if I will do it here now it will throw me error because get date is not uh, a string value it's not going to return a string value so we have to convert uh, to string w s t r and comma 30 so get data it is going to return us date and time and this is going to convert uh, or cast uh, to the uh, string so we can see the value now you see it created a sales backslash sale asterisk and uh, then date and time we are not interested in the day uh, time at all and also our format uh, for date time is uh, we don't have these uh, hyphens in that so we have to get uh, let me see if I will just change 10 uh, or we have to use substring okay it's then a uh, truncation will happen so we have to use a uh, substring uh, in this case we will use sub string one comma uh, let's say four and four eight and ten let's say ten so what's we, what we get hold on here we have to put comma 
we got the year day uh, month and day but still we have uh, hyphens uh, we can use the replace function and here we put comma and then we will put a uh, hyphen here and then uh, double quotes comma and then double quotes and double quotes and don't put any space or anything because we are replacing with nothing with no space so you see that now we have 2015 and uh, this is uh, May and 08 that's how our date is in the file and next uh, if you remember we have added a dot plus uh, we want to add a, a dot asterisk it means uh, any file with any extension so that's what exactly we are building so remember this is how our expression were when we wrote on those uh, uh, remote path and uh, we wrote by ourselves now we are saying anything from sales folder that start with sale doesn't matter what it ever it has with the, these asterisk and then have the current date so every day when we run our SSI package it is going to get the current date uh, from the get date function and then uh, produce uh, or uh, create these expressions so tomorrow it will be 09 and next day it will be 010 uh, sorry 10 and that's how it will be creating and you will let's say you have an agreement with a company and they say okay we will put the file for every day at 5 p.m. and you run the, your package at 10 p.m. every night and get those files for each of the day and download to your local folder and then you load to your tables or whatnot so here we are fine now we go back to the FTP task go to the file transfer and here we'll say is the remote path variable yes now we are going to use the variable that we have um, created uh, and we have written expressions on that so hit ok and if you want to see the variable this is how our variable will look like this is the value it will be pro provided uh, here to the remote path and we will be using that value right here okay so we are all good now we can go back there is no file in the local folder now we can go ahead and run our package the package ran successfully stop the package and go back and we see that the the files uh, anything that start with sale and has uh, today's date in them those are downloaded correctly so that's how you will be downloading the current day files uh, from the FTP server to your local server and you will process them thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video